In this video, we will be studying about the discrete series and the standard deviation in all the three methods that is direct, shortcut and step deviation. Let's take the direct method first. In direct method, we use to take the deviation from mean. So let's find out the mean first. So this is your x, this is your frequency. So we used to find out mean by uh, fx, we used to divide like uh, multiply frequency with the x series. So we get 4, 12, 24, 50, 36, 28 and 16. So we add this, we get 170. So we can find out the mean summation fx divided by summation f. So we'll do the summation f, we'll get 17. So it's 170 divided by 17, so your mean is 10. Now what you do? You take the deviation in the direct method from the mean itself. Right? So you get the small x. Now these are the x series and this is the x bar. So x minus x bar which is 4 minus 10 is minus 6. 6 minus 10 is minus 4. 8 minus 10 is minus 2. 10 minus 10 is 0. 12 minus 10 is 2. 14 minus 10 is 4. 16 minus 10 6 now what you do you will mark the next step in the individual series it used to end here you used to calculate the x square 36 16 4 0 4 16 and 36 we used to end up here and directly put in the formula now in the discrete series we are given with the frequency so we will multiply this with the frequency 1 into 36 36 2 into 16 is 32 then 3 into 4 is 12 5 into 0 is 0 then 3 into 4 is 12 2 into 16 is 32 and then 1 into 36 is 36 so this is the frequency we have multiplied with the x square so we get an answer summation f x square is equal to 160. Now it's very simple. What was the formula of standard deviation in case of individual series will be the same, only the difference is we'll get f frequency in the answer. So this we have under root 160 divided by the n is summation f so it is 17 so we get an answer as under root 9.41 which is equal to 3.07 so we can find out the square as well which is variance which is, will be 9.12 in the same way we can find out the coefficient of variation standard deviation divided by x bar into 100 so in this way we can find out all the other majors of dispersion in this. So I hope you have understood the direct method. In direct method you have to take the deviation from mean. You have to square up the deviation and you have to multiply with the frequency in case of discrete series. The only difference is this. Now let's understand the shortcut method. This is the question given to you. X series is given to and the number of time it occurs is given to you. That is the frequency. Now in shortcut method what you used to do, you used to take the deviation of x from the assumed mean. So now let's take 5 as the assumed mean and take the deviation. So 1 minus 5 is minus 4, 2 minus 5 is minus 3, 3 minus 5 is minus 2, 4 minus 5 is minus 1, then 0, then 1, 2 and now what you will do, you will square up these 16, 9, 4, 1, 0, 1, 4 and 9. Now what you will do next, you will multiply this with the frequency. Let's multiply x with the frequency which is 16 into 5, we get 80, 10 into 9, 
90 15 into 4 60 20 into 1 you get 20 15 into 0 is 0 10 into 1 is 10 then frequency is 10 into 4 is 40 then 15 into 9 is 135 to get the answer as summation only the difference is you have to multiply all things with the frequency now then in the shortcut method when we used to take this u mean we used to also find out the dx because we have to do the square in the formula so we multiply it with the frequency so dx will be multiplied with the frequency will be minus 20 minus 30 then minus 30 then minus 20 then 0 10 into 1 will be 10 10 into 20 will be 20 15 into 3 will be 45 so summation f d x will be your minus 25 now the formula of standard deviation in the shortcut method was simply we used to do dx square divided by n that is summation of frequency minus summation dx divided by summation f or the n into whole square this was the formula in individual series now the only difference is you have to find out the multiplication with its frequency Right. So we find out this also, this also, and summation f we know is hundred. So let's put up in the formula under root summation f d x square is four three five divided by hundred minus summation f d x is minus twenty five divided by summation f is hundred and its whole square. So we will get an answer as 4.35 minus 25 into 25 is 625 or you can easily do it subtraction that is you can divide it 1 divided by 4 is the answer so square of 1 is 1 square of 4 is 16 so the answer here is 4.35 9 under root you will open the under root you will get an answer as 2.07 so in this way you can find out the shortcut method standard deviation using shortcut method now in discrete series it is very difficult to find out the common factor So we do not use the step deviation method to find out the standard deviation. So in this case series we have only two methods that is the direct method and the shortcut method. So I hope you like our video. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.